name is Morgan Lippart. I'm a CU alum and I'm in-house counsel for a telecom company. And thank you so much for selecting my piece. It means the world to me because this piece is very near and dear to my heart. It was inspired by my move from Illinois to Colorado about six years ago. And it was a year before I started law school and I didn't know a single soul and I wasn't exactly sure on my direction, but I found that clean slate to be absolutely full of hope and beauty. And that's the feeling that I wanted to create in this poem. My toes push the pedal down while my cell chokes in mud on the bottom of the Rock River. I used to hold on with white knuckle fists. Now the ashes of my life are light on the wind and my palms are empty. West. I drive west, watching yellow blinking lines on the pavement blur together like a hum of prayers for second chances. And hope combusts in my fuel tank, the most powerful force that exists. My name is Rachel Guyman and I submitted the piece Light and Glass for the mixed media category. Art for me has always been about challenging myself. For this piece, I, there's a picture of me holding this glass bottle um, and I always really liked how the light was reflected through and off of it. So I wanted to challenge myself to recreate that in a couple of different ways. I started with a drawing in ink, um, which let me get used to the lights and darks in the, in the picture. Um, then I did a piece in acrylic uh, with a couple of details done in pen. And then for the last piece, I decided to make use of the old issues of the docket and Colorado lawyer that I had lying around the house and do a collage. I think this is the first collage I've ever done, so it was a good way to challenge myself to try something new um, and see what other kinds of art I can create. Uh, good day. I'm Brian Landy. I'm a long-term member of the Denver Bar Association and I'm excited to accept the Photography Award in the uh, Arts Contest of this year from the Docket Committee and uh, would just like to say a few things about my work. So my photograph is called Wash Park. It was taken at Washington Park in Denver where uh, most every Denverite is familiar with the geese that are floating there and very pleasant to view. So it's an easy spot to get a really pretty picture. But in my photography, I try to do something just a little bit different. And one of the themes I explore is catching reflections of items in our natural world. So if there's glass or a mirror or water and you can see two or more images in it, I like to explore that. In this case, I was walking through Washington Park and uh, it grabbed my attention that the algae in the water was um, being essentially acting as clouds against the reflected sky in the water. So I noticed that if I focused on the reflection, I might have an actual better subject than the original. I waited for the geese to kind of line up into the appropriate spot and I just had my iPhone with me and took a few shots knowing that I could work them up a little bit later. Uh, when I got home and looked them over, I flipped the picture upside down as I had intended, and lo and behold, it looked pretty cool. It's a very impressionistic picture that uh, looks like it may have been perhaps painted or um, adjusted on the computer, but that's really the scene as I saw that's just rotated upside down. Um, the Floating and flowing impression, I think, gives the viewer uh, something to let their eye wander over. And uh, I've just been very happy with the photo and had it here in my office since I've taken it. So again, I thank you, uh, Docket Arts Committee, for the honor. And I look forward to seeing the other winners 
in the arts contest. Every year it's always a pleasure to see the diversity and creativity of the bar celebrated and I hope they continue to do this every year. Thank you. My name is Maha Kamal. I'm a family law practitioner here in Denver. I own the Colorado Family Law Project. My piece on identity was selected this year for the Denver Bar Association's Arts and Literature Contest uh, in the category of nonfiction. I'm super honored. Um, a little background on that piece and myself. I am Pakistani American. I grew up in Aurora, Colorado, and uh, I've gone through a lot in my life that I don't necessarily share with attorneys. Um, it's been a long time, but I've had some family struggles that I address in this piece, and really that came to fruition uh, last year when I went on a writing retreat to India, um, and that was a big healing point for me, and I decided to sit down, and I was in the Himalayas, and write this piece about identity and where I fell in between these two warring countries that have been at war since 1947. Um, I believe, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I think I'm the only person from my side of the family, Pakistani side of the family, that's been to India since 1947. And so this piece was kind of a culmination of a lot of emotions and feelings and experiences that I had in India. Um, and I'm really honored that the Bar Association is recognizing this work and I hope you enjoy that piece. In my time here in India, I've enjoyed the endless smiles and many giggles from locals who loved my crazy Afro hair, who were taken aback when I spoke to them in Hindi because they thought I was Spanish. I don't quite belong in these spaces either. And that's okay because I am all of these other things that make me, me. I also get to have a lot more fun at the border. I can fully embrace the beauty of yoga and prana. I can enjoy the local wines and liquors without guilt. I can date without regard for religion or caste. More importantly, I can step into a dualistic role of the desi and the American woman in situations that for so long pressured me to stay in the traditional gender role. My name's Adam Foster and I'm a lawyer with Foster & Jones, which is a business law firm here in Denver. My drawing is titled View from My Old Office and it was the winner in the digital art category. Uh, it's the view of my old office on the 19th floor of the Johns Mansville building on 17th and Stout. I like to take pictures of normal everyday landscapes and manipulate them uh, to give them a dreamlike or almost surreal quality. And I think it's very healthy and life-affirming to try to appreciate simple things and to try to see the beauty in everyday life. And this is particularly true in stressful times or difficult times. It's important to just try to be appreciative of the little things in life. I use a standard iPad and an Apple Pencil and a free program called Sketchbook. And I use that to digitally manipulate photos uh, and draw over photos that I took with my iPhone. So that's an example of how you can have fun with art without a lot of formal training and uh, using technology that you may already have. I think that this has made me more appreciative of professional art or high art, uh, but also more appreciative of the world around me. And I would certainly encourage anyone to uh, try their hand at some digital art and, and just have a little fun with it. Uh, it's easier than you might think. So uh, thanks to the docket for the award and thank you for checking out the video. So uh, this is just an example of how we can make some digital art using the Autodesk sketchbook program. And on the right here we have various layers of um, drawing or, or layers of color that we can put onto the photo and then we can either show them or hide them. So. When we're starting out here, this is a photo uh, that I took in Italy, actually. And now we have um, some drawing that I superimposed over the photo. 
and now I can go ahead and remove the photo and we're left with only the drawing. So um, by adding these layers and manipulating them uh, however you want, you can turn a normal photo into a fun piece of digital art. Hi, I'm Brett Godfrey, painter of this painting to my right, which is called Essence of Colorado. I entered it this year into the 2020 Denver Bar Association Art Contest, and it won in the oil painting division. So I'd really like to thank the judges for picking this one out. It's a real favorite of mine. It took quite a long time to paint. And what we see in this image is the immutable Mount Sneffels my most favorite peak in the entire state of Colorado to paint. I've painted it about five times. And I just love the way this peak looks in all light conditions from all angles. It is literally just a piece of majestic beauty. So I hope that you enjoy taking a look at this painting and I thank you very much for watching this video. Fisher. I am so excited to be sharing my piece, uh, my short story, The Longest Walk Around the Block. Very excited that it's going to be appearing in the docket. This story was a lot of fun for me to write and rewrite and rewrite. I took on a number of challenges with this story and I experimented with writing in the present tense from the perspective of my protagonist, who is a man, as well as the perspective of his dog, which was a lot of fun to try. Um, although the story is entirely fictional, it gave me an opportunity to convey with words how it feels to be distracted from the present moment um, with the overwhelming activity of one's own mind, which I think is something that most people can relate to. So thank you for this opportunity, and I hope you enjoy my story. Mm -hmm.